What's going on guys and welcome to the Apex Pack Openings channel. We got a, an exciting video for you guys today. We're going to be opening a DC Comics HRO officially licensed hybrid NFT trading card booster box. Uh, you know, I think these come with uh, 24 or 36 packs, 24 packs. Uh, and this is chapter 2 featuring cards from the Black Adam movie. So that movie came out a little bit ago, but you know, never too late to the party. We got a good deal on these boxes. So without further ado, we're going to get right into it. I am joined today by PDU and Leo, returning Team Apex members. <laughs> uh, we are going to be opening this and we're going to try and figure out a way to uh, rip it pretty good. That knife was pretty dull, if you guys could see me struggling to open that box. So we got 24 packs, we got a lot of packs to get through. First pack, let's see what we get. Uh, that Black Adam movie was pretty good. I really enjoyed it. Um, hope you guys did too. Leave a comment of what you th thought about the movie. So we'll starting off the Calibac, Aquaman Attack Superman, a Superman card, that's looking nice. Batman, uh, Black Adam and the Justice League, Justice Society I mean, and Smasher, a nice Hawkman card, foil right there. Uh, here you go, Pedia, I'm gonna hand that off to you. To sleeve it up a little bit. Hand me the card so I can see what the pack structure is. Yeah, I will hand that. Right. There you go. I'm gonna keep going here. We got a Supergirl right here. I'll put that a little closer so you guys can see. Uh, Shazam. I wish I turned into Shazam right there. All Star, Just a Society, the team, and the new gods. Oh, that's a nice looking card. All right, I'm gonna keep it moving here. I really like this product. It's a really a cool uh, way to introduce NFTs into the trading cards. Um, it's a very unique uh, way of doing it. So this is a Fortress of Solitude there. Um, check out our previous video. I think I'll ask Leo to put a, a link in the comments or in the description or have it pop out in the video. Ooh, panel three. That's a nice looking card having the Shazam Lee right there facing off against Black Adam. Um, but yeah, check out our other video about where Leo does a really good job of explaining what HRO is and their other products they have. Um, it's a very well done video. Uh, credit to Leo, our editor here. Um, so we got the Justice League Satellite, Poison Ivy, uh, Robin, Damian Wayne, the Joker, Justice Society, Hawkman, and we got the Flash versus Tar Pit. Nice. Hand those off. Uh, you know, very interesting time in the DC Universe world right now. Uh, well, more in the TV shows, more than anything. Flash just finished up. Um, you know, more movies are coming out, and I'm very excited about the next Superman movie. Here's a card of the Daily Planet. Uh, James Gunn did a really good job with Guardians 3, and I'm looking forward to uh, the next Superman movie. So I'm, I'm very excited. Uh, leave your comments of what you're looking for. Ooh, Dr. Fate. That's a nice card. He was my favorite character over in the, in the Black Adam movie. Um, so, so far not a bad box, I'm, I'm liking it. Um, if you guys do get some of this product on the back side of the cards, you will find a QR code to scan your cards into the HRO app and you can do digital trading over there with some of the other cards. Um, so these are pretty cool. And there's a metal man. Uh, one hollow a pack? Yeah, one hollow per pack so far. Uh, the, the rarity will depend. Uh, if you go back to the beginning of the video, you'll see those odds there. Uh, it's a very slim chance to get, what, what was it called again, Pedio? The, the very rare ones? Um, Let me check that box real quick. Mythic. A mythic. It's like a less than 1% chance. 0 0.04. Yeah, 0 0.04 chance. That's pretty crazy. So, you gotta be really lucky to hit that card. So we got the Power Battery, uh, Vandal Savage, Wonder Woman, Martian Manhunter logo, Adam Smasher, Lightning Strikes, and the All-Star Superman. That's a nice looking card right there. Uh, hollow? Uh, yeah, it's a hollow card. So you can see the, the rarity down here at the bottom as well. Um, the bars are all different, so it gives you like a little stat of what, what they are. Um, just, just for you guys all are aware as well too, if you're looking to resell, I believe the, le the lower the number on the serial number, uh, the better it is for uh, resale value. So that's some, we're starting to get some repeats, but you know, these cards are looking pretty nice. Ooh, I really like that arc, the Dark Knight Returns. That's a fantastic arc. Um, 
other than that, uh, you know, some of these, some of these DC stories are fantastic. I'm a big DC DC guy, so I enjoy all these DC movies that have come out. Yes, we have some flops, but you know, it's all right. We're gonna still support and keep going. Ocean Master versus Aquaman. I'm looking. I'm very excited for the next uh, DC movie that's coming out. I believe it's Blue Beetle. The story of following a Jaime Reyes, and so I'm very excited to see see the Blue Beetle on the big screen and. Did you forget about the Flash? Oh, I did! I got so excited about Blue Beetle, I forgot about the Flash. Nah, see, speaking of Blue Beetle, I'm getting, I'm betting that we're gonna see the next chapter be the Flash, and then the following one be Blue Beetle. So, uh, it's gonna be an exciting time for a DC fan with the whole restructure, whole universe reset. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing Michael Keaton as Batman again. Uh, it's gonna be awesome. I hope it's good. I'm gonna. I'm excited for the movie. Definitely gonna go try and catch that at I, in the IMAX. Uh, definitely gonna call out sick if necessary. <laughs> uh, but you know, how how the flash comes out? What June 9th? Uh... Cool. We're gonna have to consult Leo on that one. Uh, but you know, it's 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 pretty close. We're close. Flashpoint Batman. Maybe we'll see a version of this in the movie. Um, while Peter does a little quick Google search of when the movie comes out. Uh, June 16th. And so we still got a couple weeks to go. I'm thinking of another uh, movie with a competitor of DC <laughs> that comes out on June 9th maybe. Uh, but other than that, you know. Here we go, an item smasher. That's looking nice. So we're almost almost done with the with the booster box here. Um, so far, you know, it's a nice product. They got some nice images. If you open up the first set, you got some nice comic covers or like older versions of or older stills of comics. Um, we got some Kryptonite different colors too as well. Uh, ooh, there we go, Shazam. Um, but you know. Yeah, let us know if you guys are ripping this product as well too, and uh, you know, leave us leave us those thoughts. I want to hear from you guys and what you guys think of this product. If you guys like it, don't like it, um, yeah, just let us know. I'm curious. Do you guys collect these too? Uh, uh, Superman versus Wraith. Up there, Um I got I think about maybe like eight or so packs. Got so many packs we want to try and save as much time as possible here so where i'm just going through and just ripping and going uh the shade trying to poseidon the team hawkman and panel b that looks like gorilla grad with the green lantern ring uh, yeah so leave us those comments let's see we got the shade Power battery, Detective Comics. Ooh, that's a nice Superman. That's gonna go in the PC right there. Head to head, the team. Another Doctor Fate. Nice. These 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 HRO uh, cards. I really like the movie sets. Uh, we will try and get our hands on on some of the new uh, the Chapter Three uh, featuring uh, the Shazam movie. I enjoyed that movie as well too. Here's a Wonder Woman and Superman, Green Lantern, Justice League of America, Toy Man. Cyclone, Dino Smasher, and Green Lantern, the Simon Baz version. That's pretty nice right there. I'm going to hand these cards over here to Pedro real quick. Getting close to the end, guys. Thank you for bearing with us. Um, factory yeah. These cards feel like they've sat in some heat. They feel a little warped, but, you know, hey, GameStop was having a good deal on these guys. Uh, Black Adam, film logo, panel six, another one of those guys. I think with the magic of editing, Leo will Leo and I are gonna look, go back through these, and we'll have we'll put we'll put the hits up for sure, and uh, you know some of our favorite cards as well too. So stick around for that as well. Green Arrow, Star Girl, and Stripe. That's a great show if you haven't seen it on HBO. And then I moved over to the CW. I really enjoyed that show. It was a pretty good, well done show. Um, three seasons, fantastic show. Uh, no cards for them. Uh, haven't seen any cards for the, for the TV shows. Here's a sketch for the Joker. Another Joker. Uh, Lighthouse of the Mystery Babe. That was like an Aquaman thing right there. 
New gods once again. Nice. Okay. How many more packs do we have left, Frank? We got two. And I don't, I don't know. I've been zooming through these. I don't know if we have a legendary in here, but you know, with that less than one percent chance, I doubt we will. We would have, uh, but you know, with the magic of editing, we'll make sure we we we've pointed out just in case we hit one. These sketch cards are nice. Uh, these movie cards are also really nice. I like the quality. These cards are really well done. I am not showing the back of the cards because they have the QR code for the NFT to re to redeem your NFT. Um, so I do collect these myself with my with my brother. So we're trying to keep those as well to us in house because uh, these are more PC cards for us, uh, and these are really well nice. And this is the last uh, last pack we have for you guys today, and we're gonna finish it off with a Justice League Dark. Ooh, that's a nice looking card right there. All right, guys. So a little bit after a uh, little cleaning and sorting out through. Uh, these are some of the nicest nice looking cards. These are like some of my personal preference cards. Uh, the All Star Superman looks really nice. Uh, it's gonna be. I'm excited for the movie that's coming out in the future. Uh, you know, this Flashpoint Batman can't go wrong, and these two Shazam cards. These are lo nice looking cards with the nice foil pattern as well too. Uh, as we were explaining in the video a little bit about the hits, uh, you can see here that these this Doctor Light, uh, Simon Bad Green Lantern, and Cyborg. These are legendary due to this this uh, bar down here. This is how you tell the difference. So you see with the five five bars here, that means it's legendary. Uh, each one, like this Dr. Fate, for example, it's a four, so it's a little step below. Um, so, And also, you can find the serial number there. And as we were mentioning in the video a little bit, I think we mentioned in the video, but if not, the the low lower, so, lower numbered cards are a little more sought after for. So these two cards, this Wonder Woman and Trident of Poseidon, are, are low numbered below 1,000. So this is six, A660 and A283. So these tend to, uh, you know, have a little more value in the in the game run. So be, just because that all these cards are numbered, so every, you can pull doubles of these cards, but they all they will have a different unique serial number. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, please continue to support us. Uh, please leave a comment if you like this video. Leave your thoughts about this product, the HRO product, or if you do trade cards of these two, let us know. We'd love to build that community with you guys. Uh, but other than that, you know, thank you guys for watching. Have a good day. And we'll see you on the next one.